Hey guys, this is a bit of a weird one. We've got a server. All right, so let's jump right into it. As you can see, unlike most of our videos, we've got a server tucked in next to us. Now, normally we'd be mounted in a server rack, so it'd be sideways, not standing up like this, but for the sake of the video, we thought it'd be easier for you guys to see it. Now, let's jump right into the case. This is a Silverstone RM42502. Now, that's a bit of a mouthful. It's a little weird. Most people probably don't understand. It's server stuff. They don't care about all the fancy stuff. They just give you some numbers and tell you what it does. Now, as you can see, it has a 240 mount in the front, as well as two 90, 92 millimeter mounts in the back. Now, as for the motherboard on this, you can see this is actually a desktop motherboard. That's pretty standard for servers to just take a generic desktop motherboard and throw it in there because it just kind of works. Uh, this is a Prime Z690P running an uh, i9-12900KS. So one of the beefiest CPUs you can get, does everything you want it to, no problems, no issues. As for cooling for this, we have a Corsair H100i Elite, um, super great cooler going to get the job done. A little weird to have in a server, but this particular customer decided they wanted exactly this so that it could keep it cool. As for graphics, this particular server has an RTX A2000, a little on the lower end, but if you're just looking for video out, that's perfect for what it does, and it'll give you a little bit extra performance to do any little things you need to do. As for memory, this thing has a whopping 128 gigs of memory. It's the Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4. Super great set of memory, great for a server because it just does exactly what you need it to do. No questions asked, no fancy RGB, no nothing extra, but the memory you need. As for storage, we have a two terabyte 980 Pro uh, NVMe. Super great for all the fast stuff they'll need for the server, anything they're using frequently day to day. Uh, as for storage, just generally, they have a two terabyte Western Digital Black. It's the performance drive, not always their server grade drives, but if they're not using it all the time and it's just occasionally being used, it's super great. Now, some weird things about the server case that you can kind of see is probably this giant power supply up top here. Now this is only a 700 watt power supply, which considering how huge it is, that's probably a little weird. It's because it's a redundant power supply. Basically what that means is it has two 700 watt power supplies running in tandem. Each of them usually runs about half of the total load of the system, but they're great for if in case something happens, maybe one of the two power supplies dies and you need 100% uptime on your server. Well, let's simulate it real quick. So if we just rip out this power cable here, we lost half our power. Now, as you might have heard there, it beeps at you really loudly to tell you things are failing. But the moment you return power to it, or if you just hot swap one of the power supplies back in from a spare one you have just in case for these scenarios, it picks back up the slack and goes right back to running half the system. Super great for servers. Now, this allows them basically to have zero, zero downtime whatsoever and means that if it's an essential server, you're always going to have it available. So now that I've talked about what the power supply does and how it works and it's a redundant power supply, this particular model is an FSP Group Twin Pro model. Uh, it's 700 watt, as I said before. Does everything this server needs. Got plenty of power, but also has that redundancy as we talked about. All right, so we're back with a little more fun stuff near the end here. Uh, so previously I already showed you how these things work when you pull out the power cable and it switches to the redundant mode and uses the spare power supply. But I did mention that they were hot swappable. So one of the cool things is if you have one of them go down, you can just click this switch, pull, and boom. Here's your, your 700 watt power supply, runs everything you need it to. Um, there's nothing fancy to it, it's exactly what you need. But say this one's bad, you toss it, grab your new one, just toss it back in here, slip it in, get it to click in, make sure it's in place, plug it in and you're good to go. Some other cool great things is you can see they have uh, graphics card mounts so that it holds the graphics card in place or whatever PCIe cards you want, as well as intrusion detection, this fancy little switch down here, which allows them to tell when the case has been opened up. Hey guys. We got power supplies, but you also have the power to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. You know, give us some cool ideas, like, I guess this server, we showed you something different. Um, also, summer sales going on, get some super cool deals. If you want to rack mount a PC and be a weirdo like me, just tell us, we can build it for you. We can do all kinds of stuff. If you like the PC in this video, be sure to contact our sales team at sales at avadirect.com, or you can head over to our website by clicking on the link in the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use our configurator to build a PC of your dreams. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe, and don't forget to follow our social media channels at avadirect.com.